Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another MM Aviation video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Aerofly Fest 2020 new update. Firstly, we'll be looking at what Aerofly have told us in the description of the app. And secondly, we will be exploring what they've added in the actual game itself. Here's the version history for Aerofly Fest 2020. New LAN and Aeroflot liveries for the A320. Frontal slider now keeps auto spoilers and auto brakes engaged during landing below 100 feet. Slider turns green when auto, auto throttle is active. <coughs> <coughs> Using a gamepad controller now allows the use of reversed thrust on the ground above 17 knots. When using a gamepad controller, the overlay menu now displays a cockpit interface as well as the pause button. Auto brake now uses de uh, deceleration rate as the target. A320, 777 and 747 new features in the uh, brackets and brackets CDU for flight planning in the virtual cockpit including root, legs, VNAV and fixed info pages. 777 electronic flight bag with basic diagram of the nearest airport and modernised PFD and ND with new attack or angle of attack indicator. 777 numerous bat bu bug fixes, improvements, landing gear now in proper damping mode for landing, climb thrust at high altitude is increased, drag for descent increased, speed rate, speed brake drag increased, cruise altitude now captured correctly when using co-pilot, top of descent calculated correctly, F-18 ADF bearing pointer now displayed on HSI, autopilot minor fixes to behaviour of VNAV buttons and autoland. So it seems like they've done quite well in this update, especially for a game that's come out quite recently. Infinite Flight would probably do a land in about a year and a half. So, um, okay, now let's take a look. So we had A320 update deliveries, the uh, LAN and Aeroflot, I believe it was. So Aeroflot, okay, they've added that. And they have added LAN. Get it quite nice. Um then we have basically just fix fixes in the game and they fix the Boeing 777-300ER a lot. So we'll be taking a look at that in hmm, what livery should we choose? Um, let's go on to Singapore Alliance livery today. And we'll be going to... Um, let's go to San Francisco. I'll be making a few videos of a flight in Aeroflyfus 2020. It would be well appreciated if you would let me um, know down below what you would prefer. One, me uploading the full flight, so it will range from half an hour to 60 minutes, so there will be multiple videos. Two, me speeding up the whole entire flight, so I'll be speeding it up by maybe times 10 speed. Or number three, um, me trimming out bits and just putting together a movie that will be about 3 to 10 minutes. You can let me know if you would like multiple of these, so maybe one of each or something like that. And also I'll be doing another Aeroflyfest 2020 general review. So now we are on a landing into San Francisco. We are putting the time uh, to morning, I believe. Actually, it was about 13 UTC, I think. Winds will be max and turbulence will be max. So it will be a lot more difficult to land. And a villa visit visibility will turn that up a little bit so we can see the scenery. Okay, so again we're in the Singapore Alliance 777-300ER landing at San Francisco. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the time is set to pretty early in the day, it's not too bad, and we are on final with a relatively big crosswind. Wow, that looks stunning. These planes, they've done so well in this. If they have this and add global and multiplayer, it will become the best simulator. But currently, I don't think it is, just because of no global and multiplayer. So they've um, they've removed one of my favourite views on the aircraft, and I believe they've added this aircraft um, in the new update. And as we can see, um, even the rudder moves and everything, it's very advanced and yeah, it's just amazing. Um, you can check out my full review, um, but I'll be making a better one pretty soon, so I recommend that you, if you want to watch that review, you can subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It'll be well appreciated, it'll help my channel out, and it'll help you out if you can watch the video when it comes out. Okay, so a little bit too high here. 
and just speed up and I absolutely love that view. Okay, let's actually concentrate on the landing now. <coughs> so it's probably not going to be an absolute butter. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Lower is always better for a butter. Or well, for a real butter. Okay, 100. Use the rod a little bit early. 30. And now we'll turn left slightly to counter those rudder movements. And. Okay, that's quite bad. This is like the second crosswind landing I've done in Aerofly. And this is about the fourth landing I've done, so I'm not very experienced. I can totally butter the bread in infinite flight. Don't believe me? Check out the video at your top right hand corner in the cards. Okay, so let's take a look at the landing. Yeah, where is it? Um. Okay, so here's the first touchdown, which was pretty horrible. Well, for the maximum turbulence and winds you can have, it wasn't too bad. And then the second touchdown was about the same. Okay, let's take a look at what else they've added. So, we've already done the um, new livery for the A320. Throttle slider now keeps auto spoilers and brakes engaged during landing. Okay, so we just need to test out the auto throttle. And I think we just need to check your yeah, auto throttle and basically the auto land. Oh, they've added auto land. Um, I never knew they had that. Okay, so we're now back in the game. We'll go aircraft. Um, I feel like I've done the Anarchai like a billion times. Um, what else can we do? Let's do something kind of different. Um, let's see if they focus some of the less common liveries more. We'll use the Air India livery in the 747. <coughs> Fun fact, the Air India livery is... Um, in, I believe, Hindi on one side and in English on the other side. Well, I'm definitely sure that it's two different languages, but I'm pretty sure it's Hindi. Okay, we're now spawning in in our 747-400. And we have bad winds again. Um, yeah, there we go, India and that. And let's clear up some of this weather. Okay, let's go wind, calm, turbulence, calm. But like I said, don't expect this landing to be a butter, so I've got very high butter standards. Okay, we've kind of went off course from the turbulence we had. Okay, only only two views on the wing. That isn't very good, but yeah, like I said, it's probably one of the less used aircraft, so they may not care about it so much. Cockpit is pretty good, I have to say. <coughs> Even when you zoom in, the quality is still good. Okay, let's focus on the landing. Um, gears all right. The actual aircraft graphics themselves are pretty good. They could just make it a little bit more realistic. And now how do we... Oh! I've never seen this thing here before. Maybe it was here. Will we have a takeoff and a landing thing now? I don't think they were there before. Okay, now how do we tune into this? Uh, landing. Do I need to change the direction? Okay, I do. Now how do I use this? Um, down? Landing. Uh, how do I tune into a runway? I think I need a exit and navigation. <coughs> uh, how did I restart one? Um, how did I do that again? Um, I already had that put in my route, so that's runway. Okay, redo. Then we should be able to land, land. Okay, this is why. Okay, let's just do landing runway. Um, believe that was like two full left. Um, and it doesn't even tell you what runway they are. Hmm. Smart. Location Los Angeles. Zero seven L. Let's do zero seven L. Um, Los Angeles zero seven L. Landing, uh, come on. Los Angeles landing, 07L. Okay, that's, that seems quite good now. Now, location. We'll put the aircraft en route. Uh, landing 07L. Now, if we put that on final and just tune into the landing, hopefully that will work. 
Okay, so Series 7 L here and the aircraft's not like bouncing around. So I think this should work. Yeah, seems pretty good. And how's the, uh, what's it called again? I've just forgotten. Those lights are. Mm, forgot. Come back to my brain after the video is recorded. And we have the overspeed indicator as well for final, which is pretty cool. Then we have our altitude, so we're pretty spot on. And some of the more controls. I just hate how when you're trying to change something like this, it keeps on thinking you're like moving the screen. It's amazing. First class menu, Long okay. Up. Pilots will get that. Air energy might not be too nice though. Um, mm, looks, yeah, aircraft looks quite nice. Um, yeah, I would say for one of the aircraft that's not too much used, um, it's it's very good and they've still done it very well and they did all the aircraft pretty well, so they've done a good job. And next step is just to add global and multiplayer and maybe a few more liveries and some more aircraft. <coughs> Okay, yeah, this sort of land's working now. Um, actually, we could maybe try and edit the wind. We'll give it a small task. Okay, it should turn right, right and right. it does, so let's add a little bit more. Okay, it's not too bad, it's only a little bit more. Okay, it needs to turn right. And it's turning right, okay. Not bad. Looks like quite a smooth ride to be honest. How would the pilots be looking at this? Something that's gonna take over the job soon. Well, not soon, but you get the idea. Okay. 100. 100. <coughs> 50. Uh, what are we at now? 30. Oof, that landing was ouch. I've, maybe it's just my butter and my high standards. Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay, that wasn't very good. And now let's just take a look at the general navigation fixes. So, let's try this take off. Take off. Okay, looking good. Now, use the rudder a bit. No, you need to go into the middle of the runway. Yeah, the middle, that's why there's a line there. That's where you take off. Even if auto take off, probably like the A350. Okay, and I'm tilting left, tilting right, tilting down, that's not doing anything, so... Okay, it wasn't like the best takeoff, but... Oh, he went out pretty sharp there. What the frig is this? That's quite steep. The angle. Okay, now... Uh, navigation is... Um, Let's go in an aircraft I'm familiar with so I can see if there's a difference. Um, let's go 777 300 ER. And we'll just pick any livery. Let's go do, 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 do it quickly. Anna. Here. Um, come on, come on. Uh, engine sounds so much different now. Let's go autopilot. Uh, let's just go up like that. And cockpit. And to edit it, yeah, it looks basically the Oh, we do it like this. Looks basically the same. Um, and then navigation. Um, well, to me, it looks pretty much the same. That's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video that I've presented and shared with you guys. It would be well appreciated if you would like, subscribe, comment, and share. Once again, I thank you for watching this video of mine, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day.